Hi, this video is to introduce you to spreadsheet software. Many of you probably already have programs like Microsoft Excel on down on your computer. It's part of the Microsoft Office package. I'll be using Microsoft Excel for demonstrations of spreadsheet software. And though different software will have different functions, I'm going to use some of the older, more common functions so that if you're doing this on a different version, it should be the same. Um, and that goes for older versions of Excel as well as the open source version. If you don't have access to Excel, you can go on to the computer labs on campus and access it there. Additionally, if you search OpenOffice, you can get the download from OpenOffice.org. And this includes OpenOffice Calc. should get a .exe file that will come up. Open that from there. You can access something that looks very similar to this. You notice that it's a giant grid with a whole bunch of rectangles. Each one of these rectangles is like a little mini calculator. And it can be used for storing text or numbers or calculations. And we'll be using all three of those. Um, to put an input in there, just type into the cell and then hit enter and it'll store it. If you need to do a calculation you'll start by hitting equals and you can do basic arithmetic. Notice that we put a formula in and you can see up in the formula bar what the original formula was as well as when you click on it it'll show it. When you hit enter you only see the result. Additionally we can reference other cells in a calculation so it equals to start a calculation. I can then go over and click on this cell. I can also use the number or the direction arrows on the keyboard, go over to the left. I can also just type in the address of the cell. Every rectangle has an address. You can find out the column by looking at the top row. See that's the column C. And then the row by looking on the left column, you can see that's row two. So this one right here is C2. You can then use the number that's stored in there for another calculation. Now the cell is linked to that one, so if I change the original cell, it not only changes that output, but it changes this one as well. In addition to doing basic arithmetic, we've seen the addition sign, and then the forward slash is division. We also have subtraction, which is the hyphen, and then multiplication, it's the asterisk, shift 8, also found on the number keypad. You also have exponents, it's the shift 6, the caret, I'll give you an exponent, to the exponent of 3. And uh, those are the basic arithmetic operations. And you can combine them using parentheses in the normal order of operations. In addition, what we really are after is some of the built-in functions. And when you start typing in words, uh, you'll see some of those options come up. For example, one that we're probably all familiar with is the averaging function. Notice that when I first start typing it, I get all the different functions that start with the letter A. And as I type more, it narrows it down. Now I can click on this, but I can also go down with the direction arrows and then hit tab when I find the function that I want. After you put in the function name, you need to open a parentheses and then you put in the inputs. The average function just takes the numbers that you want to average and separates them by commas. So we can average one, two, three. That will give us the average of those three numbers. We can also have it average the numbers in cells, so I can hold left click and drag over that and then average those numbers. Again, these will be links, so if those numbers up there change, it'll change the average. 
And we'll learn about different functions as we go along, as well as some of the graphing features. So if you decide to use spreadsheets, um, check back for more videos that show how things are done.